If you are constantly renewing your mind in the Word of God, if you're reading the Word of God from cover to cover, from Genesis to Revelation, what's happening? This renewal of the mind is like you are cultivating the mind of Christ. You are cultivating the mind of God. You are beginning to understand more and more generally and generally and then more and more specific the way who God is, what God desires. So that if you're a person who is constantly renewing their mind in the word of God, you are going to know God's will. In so many areas that at this moment it's kind of blurry for you. I'll give you an example. I remember one of the first times I taught at a Bible school, um, a young man walked up to me and he says, I, I have a question, Brother Paul, and, and uh, I'm just confused. I don't know what God's will is. And I said, okay, what is it? He goes, well, a church has called me to be a pastor. Really? Well, that's, that's, that could be wonderful. I said, um, how long have you been a Christian? Ah, uh, about 14 months. And what... Did the professors you talk to here tell you? Well, they, they told me they think I ought to take the church. I said, go back to every one of those professors and tell them that I said, use my name, give them my phone number, that they need to leave this school and not give anybody counsel until they actually read the Bible. He said, how can you say that? How can you say that you know it's not God's will for me to be the pastor of this church? He says, because in, in 1 Timothy chapter 3, it says, not a new convert. You are a new convert. And let's go down through the rest of these qualifications. Do you have these qualifications? You only have one. You aspire to be an overseer. That's good. You lack all the other qualifications. So I can tell you. With the authority of God's word, no, you should not be a pastor at this moment. And I can also tell those professors, they are terribly wrong. Do you see? It, I didn't need something coming down from heaven. Because I already have a sure word that has come down from heaven. What should I do in the ministry? Well, actually, he gives you a whole bunch of commands. If you just follow those, you won't have time to be thinking about the other stuff. Do you see? The more we renew our mind in the word of God, the more we will simply understand, find ourselves doing the will of God.